Borneo has a hybrid mystery monkey and it has researchers concerned. The monkey shows characteristics from two different species. An unidentified monkey spotted Borneo is a rare hybrid between two different species that are competing for forest space, according to new study suggestions. Researchers concluded that this mystery monkey is likely the offspring of a proboscis monkey, Nasalis larvatus, and the silvery langur, Trihiptecus cristatus, two dist distantly related species that share the same habitat. Now, the pandemic restrictions prevented the researchers from investigating the forest where the monkey lives, so instead the scientists analyzed photos that began appearing on social media in 2017. The monkey was initially photographed as a juvenile, but more recent photos from 2020 reveal that the animal is now a mature female and may have an infant of her own. Quote, she appeared to be nursing a baby, unquote. This is what the study co-author Nadine Rupert, a primatologist and, uh, at the University Sans Malaysia, in Science, uh, Science University of Malaysia, told Life Science, saying, we were all in awe. It was quite surreal. Now, while different species typically don't produce viable offspring if they mate, very closely related species may occasionally interbreed in the wild to create hybrids. For example, northern pigtailed macaque monkeys and southern pigtailed macaques interbreed in certain parts of Thailand, according to the International Union for Conservation of Nature, IUCN. However, the interbreeding species are typically similar and belong to the same evolutionary group or genus. Proboscis monkeys and silver langurs do not. The hybrid monkey was spotted near the Kinabatangan River in Malaysia and Borneo. The island is divided among three nations, Malaysia, Brunei, and Indonesia, where the ranges of proboscis monkeys and silver langurs overlap, but these two monkey species are visibly, visibly very different. Adult proboscis monkeys have pinkish faces with elongated noses, while adult silver langurs have black faces with shorter, flatter noses. Proboscis monkeys are also larger. A male proboscis monkey can grow up to about 30 inches, that's 76 centimeters long, weighing about 44 to 53 pounds. Silvery langurs only reach 22 inches long and weighing about 14 and a half pounds on average, according to the New England Primate Conservancy. Now, both species live in a group, in groups composed of a dominant male and multiple females and their offspring. Males born into the group are pressured to leave once they mature to start groups of their own or take over another group. However, habitat decline is limiting the areas where these dispersed males can go, according to, the, to Rupert. Rupert says, we concluded from the observations that the photographers made that male proboscis monkeys are mating with female silver, silver langurs in the area and that there are mixed groups where female proboscis monkeys even take care of silver langur babies. Male proboscis monkeys may use their larger size to oust langur males and take over langur groups. The researcher suspects that the mystery monkey in the photo is the offspring of a male proboscis monkey and a female langur because it shares characteristics of both. For example, her nose is pronounced like a female proboscis monkey, but not as elongated, and her face has a gray tinge. Most hybrids born from different species are sterile and unable to produce offspring, which makes the so-called mystery monkey and her baby even more unusual. It's possible she was aloe mothering or taking care of another female's infant, but the photos show that she has swollen breasts associated with lactation, which indicates the offspring was her own. As unique and intriguing as the discovery appears to be, there's a downside. It's tragic that both species now cramp together in the remaining narrow riparian forest patches surrounded by oil palm plantations where they compete for food and mating opportunities. Rupert said, I hope that people will start talking about her not as an attraction, but as a flagship animal of the area that needs to be protected and with her her two parent species and their habitat. The study was published April 26 in the International Journey 
of Primatology, originally published here on Life Science. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. This is by Patrick Pester. Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.